Welcome back. Now, when you have completed your document, you've done all your editing, it's then time for you to be able to produce your document, whether you intend to print physically or you intend to do so digitally. So what you want to do is go to the file command and then you'll want to click save as. And once you've chosen your drive, it's instructive to know, once you've chosen your drive, it's instructive to know what kind of file types are going to be available to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this drop down arrow and we're going to work through the different file types that you have available to you. You'll notice that you can use the docx file. The docx file is the newer version of Microsoft Word. You may also see available to you a DOC file or doc file. And this is the older style Microsoft Word document. You can save as a PDF file. And this is obviously the Adobe format. You can also save as a web page and typically you would be saving as a HTML file. This will allow you to upload what you have to your server as a web page. You can save as an RTF file. Now the RTF file will be a transferable extension that you can use in other applications. So you'll see at times that even if you aren't using Microsoft Word, you may find a document that opens in the RTF format. You can save your document as a plain text file. This will allow you to transfer your information into Microsoft Excel as well as to use in other applications. And you can also save as an open document text which will allow you to use in OpenOffice. Now there's one more thing that you'll want to be aware of when you are saving as a docx file and you're saving as a docx file from one of the older versions. You're going to notice that there's going to be a checkbox here that says maintain compatibility with previous versions of Word. And if you know that you're going to be using more than one version of Microsoft Word, this is a good idea to check this button when you save this the first time. This will help you to maintain the ability to open documents on other systems that may not have the updated version of Microsoft Word. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.